So we are. Uh, are you filming? Yep. Nick is it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's on. I <laughs> worked this thing. Is it on? <laughs> yes. channel soon so uh, I don't know what else is going to happen we're just listening to Too Much Heaven by the Bee Gees three dudes in a car on our way to an Airbnb nothing weird it's a banger man I don't know if this is a banger oh it's absolutely a banger <laughs> yeah or the Bee Gees do you know much? I know a little bit about the Bee Gees Nick are you filming yourself? no just making it all about you right? that's, that's okay Welcome to our home. Yeah. Hey, Bradford, what have you been up to? Well, I dressed pretty casual for the occasion. Oh, my gosh. Let's roll. <laughs> oh, you have a dog? Yes. Yeah, all right, so he'll, all right, he'll, he'll be smelling all the smells. I think oh, yeah. Stu gave me a FaceTime tour. Very cool. Yeah. Oh. It's, just it's dead down here. Like, it's I, cool. I, I mean, it, especially yeah. in that area where, yeah. where it's been treated. Like, we didn't have to do any base traps on the back because the... Cause it's so long. Mm -hmm. So it yeah. just kind of disappears. No, no, no. I don't know if you know this, but this guy was in this band that wrote I Could Sing In Your Love Forever. Yeah. Look, he's right there playing. How do you keep it? Right there. Right, right there. Um, I do not have a system. It's just what it is. It's just what it is. Oh. Oh. You know, in the... Your, area, green your number one, though, is the, the first. Yeah. Well, it's... <laughs> The way you, I don't even know if phrase is the right word because you're playing Dan Huff, what Dan Huff played virtually note for note, but you're like executing it with a little different flavor. Yeah. And I, I can, I hear more of the Brian May coming from you. Yeah, yeah I can't play, I, 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 I can't do that. I can't play it like Dan played it. It's so, it's so dexterous. Yeah. So amazing, you know, and it's like, yeah. um, it it's cl we're closed. Oh. Like I'm moving in. Steve doesn't know it yet, but and I'm gonna live here. He's now my dad. Mm. <laughs> hey, dad. 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 Yeah. That's about where your other beads are coming. Yeah, like minus three. Yeah, it feels good then. Not the same. Yeah. I want a baritone acoustic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you do. So it's like the beginning of Investigate. I would say. So um, here's D. Yeah. We'll play the D on there, but move that whole shape and just teach it like that through shapes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly what we would do. Yeah. yeah. Just getting set up. Changes. I just Stu, I've always been curious about the line. And I can't believe I've been asked you this before. Dancers who dance upon injustice. Yeah. And when I was younger, I was like, I don't understand what that means. Yeah. And I have an inkling, but like as somebody who obviously was in the room as the song was getting written. Like what what did that like did do you know like what that meant to you all when that line was penned? Uh I don't actually know. It just felt like cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, the idea of dancing on injustice is kind of like the the only thing we can do is what's in our hands to do, which is, um, you know, pray. Right. 
and then for us it's like we can make music and sing songs and raise awareness and you know mm-hmm. like and I think that's the kind of uh, what's behind dancers who dance upon injustice you know, it's a very it? poetic way of saying yeah. like fighting for injustices yes with what you can do yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I th- and I think it was more that it was poetic and it was in a in a flow moment rather than mm. actually like really thinking about what it was saying but mm. you know it's one of those things that oh that's cool you know you can actually dissect it a little bit afterwards and say we want yeah. something there yeah. you know? too okay. heavy too bald yeah I should say that. too bald no <laughs> I'm pretty bald. I, mean, I used to could uh, had hair. You used to could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead and bring that down a little bit, Brian, there. Okay, yeah, we're micing the helix. Yeah. Like going to church, for instance, I, I, this is what I take when I play at church now. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. That's your church rig? Yeah. There you go. And, um, uh, you know, I get up there and I'm just always blown away. Like, yeah. You know, well, you, but you mentioned Michael W. Smith asked you to come on because of your work as an atmospheric yeah. ambient guitar player yeah, with stuff you do with Delirious but didn't use a reverb pedal. Mm. Yeah. No, I, that's right. I don't, yeah. even, so I never I don't know doing, who I am right now. You know, so, uh, but it, I did everything with delays. Yeah. And um, uh, the in the mod factor of the Eventide, it had a thing called um, undulation, mm-hmm. which I think, uh, it was again, it was all done with delays, but it kind of like, you know, you could... S- uh, slur the mm-hmm. the chops, and you could kind of like make yeah. that a little bit well, reverby. Sure, you know, and it would cut off, which I kind of like. Kind of go, yeah. you know, like yeah, okay. That. But so that was pretty cool. But you know, I used to do everything with delays and um, with uh, you know looper pedals mm-hmm. and what have you. And uh, um, so anyway, I didn't really discover reverbs until. Gosh, I mean, until I really, uh, we'd use reverb on uh, when we're mixing. Okay. On it, you know, like Lexicon four eighty or whatever. Like um, studio reverb. Studio yeah. reverbs when we were mixing, but um, you know, in terms of like what I had on my board, I didn't have a reverb pedal until I had the H nine. I I think. Yeah. Do you use black yeah. hole? Yeah. Oh, mm. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Do you? Um, uh, here's so I, 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 and I've got nothing against reverb either. I love it, <laughs> as, as you can hear on there. Like yeah. this is, I've got plenty of. Yeah, I've, but, I've noticed on your, on your, like when you're doing the tutorials, and you play something, and let it go. There's a lot of reverb, but it's like mixed down. Yeah. But it's yeah. like underneath. I, yeah. So I, I, I think that's something that Jonathan at Tone Junkie he, he commented on too. Mm. Is that the way I hear things are often long tails yeah. mixed real I've like, noticed, subtly. I've noticed that a number of times your yeah. sounds when you pull back on the volume it's it's there but it's like yeah you don't really hear it until every, but you feel it yeah 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 necessarily yeah. trying to copy it exactly yeah like, like because, piece for piece yeah gear, because yeah. um P90s uh, designed by Bill Lawrence uh, back in the day when he worked for Gibson. Plexi head and full draft cabinet, and I had the, the Park uh, 2 by 12 combo. Uh, Very good. Um... Yep. Oh my gosh, Tone. <laughs> <laughs> He's heard Tone for the first time. <laughs> I'm gonna get up. I love me a Duesenberg. The fact that this is solid this is makes early. me love it. I, even don't, more. I don't know where oh. this. Stu, thank you so much. Oh, thank letting you. Letting us come over to your studio. It's great. And so, so much fun making some content with you. Thank you. Uh, we've seen maybe some behind the scenes stuff here in this video. So hopefully this won't be the last time we can come over. Yeah. And I'll no, bring it's... an Axe FX3 and a Quad Cortex. So okay, that'd be brilliant. So you can I'd try, try all try the things. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty. Yeah, no, thanks. And uh, yeah, looking forward to how we can collaborate in the future. Yeah, and so grateful that you made... You all made the journey over. I know it's a little bit of a trek, so... Yeah, no, yeah. It, was, it, was, it was great. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>